welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute, but we're here, and today we are talking all about my hair. I did not realize until like a few days ago that it has been so long since I ever talked about my hair on my channel. I was supposed to update you guys about the cut that I got back in August and uh, what my hair has been doing since then. I haven't done a natural hair tutorial in forever, and I was just like, okay, I finally got my hair done, so I can actually show you guys. So yeah, I just decided today we will come on and do a natural hair update and kind of get you guys up to speed on everything that's happening uh, with my hair since the last time I really was doing anything natural hair video wise on my channel. So if this is your first time, welcome. I'm so glad you found my channel. My name is Gabrielle. I also go by Gaby and here on the channel we are Miss GCH. And that's becoming my little intro because I say that every time. I kind of like that. Do you like that? All right, you guys. So back in August, actually early August, when I finished my candidacy exam, I got a haircut. And I didn't actually plan on getting a haircut. I went into the hair salon just to get my hair pressed and to get it done because I really neglected my hair pretty much all summer while I was <laughs> trying to get through my candidacy exam. So I went to my hair appointment and she pressed it out. And you could really see like where the damage was being done to my hair and y'all know a press only lays as good as the ends so if the ends are trifling you can have some real pretty hair and the ends are gonna ruin the whole thing and so I mean she could have finessed it if I didn't really want to cut my hair off she was like you know we can cut pieces of it and kind of you know gradually do it or I can just cut it off now so I was texting people I put it on my insta story shameless plug if you're not following me on instagram you don't get to be a part of moments like this um but yeah I had several votes come in before I was like okay I finally decided to just cut it off and most people like a lot of people were saying you know oh my gosh it had gotten so long you guys I have pictures I'll make sure that I insert them um, as I talk but it had gotten so long and so I was kind of torn because it looked so good like long but I was like baby it's not gonna look how you think it's gonna look once you press it out and it's not good for the health of your hair to hold on to these ends so just do it so I did. I told her, just cut it. Just cut it. So she did kind of like a blunt cut. I usually don't get blunt cuts. Um, I usually just kind of get a regular trim, kind of where my hair is falling. But I'm glad that she did it because it really reset my hair. And um, the blunt cut just looked so good. I'm honestly so glad that I got that cut. Um, and then I popped on YouTube <laughs> and showed you guys like, hey, I got my hair. OMG. Yeah, I rocked the haircut for a while. Um, I really enjoyed it. I like how it looked when um, I reverted back to curls, like my natural fro. Really looked good with the cut. Like it just, it was a good situation for the health of my hair and all that. And that is not the first time I've actually gotten a cut since being natural. I'll be seven years natural in May. And that is the second time I think that I've actually gotten a hair cut. Um, I've had my ends trimmed obviously several times so that was the second time I can remember that I got an actual haircut. The first time was in 2017. If I have pictures I'll put those in there. Um, so I have never really been able to experience my hair full length like to just let it grow out because I get to these points where I'm like eh just cut it off like for the health of my hair. Typically, the first time it was because I wasn't taking care of the color, the bleach in my hair, and I was just like, okay, just cut, you know, just cut. I didn't cut all the color out, but I told the hairdresser, like, just cut it. Like, just do what you have to do to get it healthy again. And the cut is fire. Like, guys, when I cut my hair, it's always so fire. That's why, I, honestly, I think it's partially because of the health of my hair, and then also there's this other part of me that's like, these cuts are fire and I kind of really enjoy them for a minute. Um, but every time I cut my hair, I kind of think like, oh man, you know, now my hair is short. Now I'm going to have to work hard to grow back out again, blah, 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 all this stuff. And you guys, do you see this? I'm actually stunned. Like the word I'm going to give my hair is resilient because there's no reason my hair should have grown. <laughs> Y'all, I'm tripping like there's no reason my hair should have grown like this all the way back. Like if you watch that video, you can see. I mean, it was a little more curly too. So it wasn't like I was, you know, cut cut um, like, you know, up here. But you can tell like where the curls fall. It was a real cut. I, I hope I can do like a side by side right now so you can see. Like why did my hair grow in six months? 
pretty much back to where it was when I cut it the first time. I can't explain it. And I got this color, this bleach done last May. And do y'all see how it has grown out so much? Like literally so much. And it just blows my mind because I'm like, okay, clearly the problem is not that my hair isn't growing. I mean, obviously. I have to work harder to retain it on the ends. And even with the minimal effort that I'm doing, for it to still be this long after she trimmed it, because she did trim it today after she pressed it out. And so, um, or after she blew it out, she trimmed it. And I just, it's, it's grown, like, so... I'm pretty much stunned. Like I said, I got my hair re-bleached, so I did have it bleached originally in 2017. And it, you know, was really good at first, but like I said, it wasn't taking care of it at all. Honestly, I wasn't taking care of this either. When she asked me, like, what have you been doing, you know, to protect the color and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, sis, do you want the honest answer, okay? My routine lately, you guys, has not been that pretty wash and go video that I did for you guys or my new hair routine video that I did for you guys, none of that. My recent routine has been shampoo and conditioner, sometimes not even shampooing, like just, eh, I'ma just do the conditioner, finger detangle in the shower, rocking a wash and go when the curls get on my nerves then i put it up in a bun a high bun or a low bun has been my thing it's been my go-to she's like you've been doing twist sets or anything ma'am when i tell you a wash and go that's all i got for y'all so i have patience for it so i have time for it. i cannot my poor little hair and even my edges like i do have some breakage and stuff because the scarf that i sleep with if it falls off Satin pillowcases are a thing. Have I purchased them yet? No. I probably should definitely do that because I really am trying to work on the health of my hair. But the big decision that I have made that I'm sharing with you all is that, and I think I said this before, but I'm officially doing it now, is I'm going back to the hairdresser. I literally have, I just, the patience that I have for my hair is so low these days. Like, my schedule is stressful, um, like, and I just don't, like, I barely have the capacity for the frustration that I feel with, like, things that I have to do. So when it comes to my hair, it's like, why? You know, or I make it through a whole day and I'm like, yes, okay, I got everything at least to a good spot, cool. And then something in me is like, oh no, your hair. Or in the morning when I'm rushing, it's like, okay, I have everything together, Everything's fine, I'm about to go out the door. Psych, I look in the mirror, sis, your hair. Remember the hair on your head? So I end up just defaulting to a big old bucket of Eco Styler gel and I just slick it up, put it in a bun or put it in a low bun. But that is honestly really damaging. It causes a lot of tangles in between. Like my roots were so, I literally had to detangle my hair before going to the hairstylist today. Cause I was like, if I show up with the amount of tangle and dryness that my hair the state that my hair was in was so bad it was so bad and I actually have pictures after I detangled it and like brushed it out so I'll put those in here too um and it looks like you know oh my gosh you just have a lot of hair like yeah but it was it was so bad it's been so dry lately I've been trying to use some products I tried to pick up some new products you guys some ones I thought would be trusty products because they were these name brands and I picked them up and they all made my hair super dry like literally I would put it in and within an hour even when I was putting it in I could tell like this is not gonna be good and within an hour my hair would be like dried out and it's like so frustrating because when I go through and detangle it and get it to a wash and go state I'm expecting that to last for days. So when it's already dry, and I don't really have right now like a whole lot of products, like y'all, I said I've been kind of neglecting my hair. So I don't really have a lot of product, products. The usual stuff that I use has kind of run out. So it's like once it dried up, and that's all I had, it was like, well, now I'm just rocking dry hair, like trying to spritz water on it from day to day. It's been an interesting situation, guys. I'm really surprised I have anything left as far as hair on my head. But we are grateful that somehow my hair survived this crazy period that I've been going through. So, um, so yeah, I actually will do, I'm planning to do a separate video. I can't figure out if I'm gonna do a video or a blog post. I might do both, just in case, um, of these products that are big name brands that don't work for me. There are actually so many big name brands that don't work for me that I'm like, I'm gonna make a video because this is, 
crazy. All these brands, natural hair brands that are well known that just jack my hair up. Um, but anyway, so yeah, my big decision, I'm going back to the hairdresser. I am going back to being on the books every three weeks. Um, really the reason that I wasn't trying to do it before was because of my budget and not really wanting to incorporate, you know, $100 every three weeks or so, or really um, $100 a month to my budget for my hair. It was just like, oh my gosh, like I can technically just do it myself and save myself $100 a month. But the way my trend has been going, I'm like, sis, just pay the money, okay? Pay the money, because you're not gonna take care of your hair. So it's either pay the money or go bald. These are your two options here, okay? You have two options. And honestly, like when your hair is not completely together, you don't feel the same. Like honestly, my hair being done, having my eyebrows done too, and my nails done, having this stuff done makes a difference. And it's not about being vain or anything like like that but it's just like when you know like your appearance is together and you feel comfortable you just like you just do more you have a different level of confidence like I know I do I will speak for myself I know that I do um and it's not even just that my hair is pressed y'all because I love my hair pressed but y'all know I love my natural hair I love my fro I love it so it's really just that my hair is done and taken care of like when I'm just throwing it up in buns like it just, it starts to feel real dusty. I just start to feel real dusty and not put together. Um, so I just feel like I'm at a stage where I need to get back to the hairdresser, allow somebody else to take care of my hair for a while, and just, yeah, just let my hair flourish. Like, I feel like as it's being taken care of, the ends will be taken care of better, so i actually be able to retain much more of my length. So we'll actually be able to see how long my hair can really get because clearly, again, it's growing. So I'm hoping this helps so I am uh, on the books again. <laughs> I'm gonna try some different protective styles, some braiding, some different things that she does in between because I only press my hair pretty much once every three months. I don't do it much sooner than that because I really like my curls. I don't wanna damage my curls. My curls like being straightened, but I don't wanna see if there's a possibility of damage if I start straightening it a whole bunch. Um, so yeah, is that everything I wanna say right now? I think that's everything I wanna say to update you all on my hair um, and just like the length since getting the cut. I don't know if I have a back picture. I might have a back picture of when I got it cut in August but this is where it is now and I'm just laughing y'all because this is like what how did it grow back I don't I don't know you guys but this is what happened and I love it like I freaking did a photo shoot today for Instagram because I haven't been posting on Instagram because I'd be frumpy 90% of the time and I'm like I don't want to like I don't want to look at this and so I know IG doesn't want to look at this like I would take photos of myself and just be like no this is not it so I went ahead and posted some pictures on Instagram again if you follow me you've already seen them if not go follow me so you can go see them um, and keep up with me outside of YouTube but yeah guys I'm really excited and I'm just loving how healthy and flourished and awesome my hair is looking right now okay if you want the information for the stylist and you live anywhere in Columbus Ohio or near Columbus Ohio I will make sure to put her contact info in the description box um, her Instagram page is adorned by satin her name is satin yeah I'll make sure you guys have all the information you need if you want to book her because she's incredible like literally she did my hair for my 25th birthday last year if you guys remember uh, watching that vlog and seeing those photos so yeah she is it for me while I'm here in Columbus because I mean it's self-explanatory right um so yeah that's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm happy to be getting back to talking about my natural hair on this channel. If you have ideas or questions or anything like that about my natural hair that you want me to cover in a video, please make sure to drop it in the description. Uh in the description box drop it in the comment section so i can see what you guys need um but yeah i do have some ideas for some videos that are coming out about my hair so yeah stay tuned make sure you subscribe turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss when i post these things and i will see you guys in the next video bye